Amateur Logic Shorts. Don't you hate it when you buy a can of contact cleaner or WD-40 or whatever? It's working good. It's doing what you want. And then all of a sudden, you try to spray it and nothing comes out or it just barely drips out. And you can feel there's a good bit of weight left to it. And you can even hear it. That's kind of always been a bummer for me. I've got a can here of Deoxit brand contact cleaning wash. This is good stuff. It's not Freon, of course. We don't get that anymore. But nevertheless, this has been a good contact cleaner, except this is the second can I've had that went flat. There was no pressure left in it, so I couldn't get the remaining product out. We're going to try an experiment today to see if we can recharge that can. I've seen some people doing it on the Internet. I'm going to give it a try myself. First, let me say, be safe about this. I'm going to take this outside to do it, and I'm going to use safety glasses in the process. Now, they show two different ways of doing this. One, if you've got an air nozzle like this, a sprayer, or you can use a valve stem if that's what you've got. This probably will sell off a little bit better. Either one is going to have a little leakage. Now, if you're going to do this, you're doing it at your own risk. I'm just showing you here what I tried. You should check the material safety data sheet for your product and look for the pressure on it, how many PSI there is in that can. Unfortunately, on this particular product right here, they listed no pressure, so I didn't know. Normally, you've got between 90 and 110 PSI in a can. My air compressor happens to show 95 PSI on the gauge on the regulator right now, so that's the pressure I'm going to use. Now, I will take this outdoors and use eye protection, at cross my fingers, and hope for the best. If you're going to try the method with the air sprayer, you hold it right on top of the can, immediately over the stem. Use your fingers to hold it in place. Press down while you're applying air to the can. There's going to be some leakage with that, so I think I'll probably have better luck with the valve stem. I bought a package of two of these at the auto parts store for $3 and change. I don't mind wasting that. There's more than $3 worth of product left in this can. If you look down in the hole in the middle of the valve stem, you'll see a metal insert in there. That is bigger around than the stem on the can. When you use this, you'll have to press down the metal on the side of that insert onto the stem so that you engage the can. The hole here is a little too deep. There's too much rubber there to fit all the way over the stem and engage it. We're going to have to trim off a little bit. I'm going to use a razor blade to do that with. If you do this yourself, be careful. That wasn't very hard to cut. It went pretty smooth. I did have a mistake, though. I had to use both of these. The first one I tried, I cut too much off, and when I pressed down on it, it didn't seal on top of the can there. It just kind of, like, there was a big gap left. So my second attempt, I cut it shorter. That did better. We're going to take it outside now and try this and see what happens. Oh yeah, much better. If you enjoy Amateur Logic Shorts, please click the like button. Be sure to click subscribe to be notified when new episodes become available. And let your friends know about this video by clicking share.